is Coach Karan Godwin. I want to introduce to you the new Ball Hog Gloves X Factor. It takes away your grip, so the ball slips out of your hands. You really got to be able to control the ball. I like them a lot. You know, I think the added weight really helps. And I feel like this right here is going to make a big difference. For more drills, follow at Coach Godwin and go to ballhoggloves.com. Home to an MVP candidate and perhaps the most explosive player in the NBA. Russell Westbrook has willed the Thunder to a 28 and 21 record, good for seventh best in the West. Tonight, he faces off against the Chicago Bulls, who start a six-game road trip. And it is really, they're, they're experimenting. They're trying to find the right combinations on that second unit. We'll see when he goes out. Here's Robin Lopez, and he connects. Lopez having another good year, really an underrated play. People can be critical, nice rebound by Jimmy. Elias Solva has had a huge impact on Philadelphia this year as Butler hits again. And Jimmy Butler with six points here in the quarter. He did not make a field each of the last two years. I mean, he won't even do interviews with us right now as Jimmy Butler gets the dunk. In fact, he joked that he talked to the president, but he wouldn't talk to Doris Burke. I totally <laughs> understand where he was coming from, from the standpoint of, um, you know, he's a guy who, especially now, you know, uh, when his role got changed to, to come off the bench, he would spend a lot of time with the young guys. And if anybody thought we was taking shots at him, then, you know, of course, you know, it's his job as their leader, um, as, as a leader, uh, to step up and say something. But it's no hard feelings for that. You know, I, I never would have hard feelings for anyone who speaks their mind. You know, this is... Uh, this is the world we live in today where social media, you can speak your mind. You know, you get in front of the cameras to the, the media, you can speak your mind. That's fine. As um, long as no one take it personal. If you take it personal, then we're not going to reach our common goal. You give him a little cushion and that three is going down. Great pass by Wade. Here comes the double on Sabonis. Looking for help, throws it right to Wade. And Wade just too strong. Backs down Oladipo, who had no shot. Come on, both both of the last. Lob to Lopez. Great finish by Robin Lopez. He has seven points here, all in the second quarter. Grant drills a three. He's four of four from the floor with nine points. Lopez jumper, good. And that is six now for Lopez. And the Thunder up one, 12 points now for Russ. Butler on Oladipo. And again, Butler just too strong for Oladipo, draws the foul. Here's another guy that gets Butler. Oh, beautiful move by Jimmy Butler. Come on, how good is that footwork? How good is that footwork? Not to. Butler was cutting. Wade found him, and Oladipo tried to block him and fouled him. Three fouls on Oladipo. Let's watch the, the footwork on the post by Jimmy Butler. So they enter it. Wade using the Lopez screen. Here's Gibson in the corner, and Gibson answers with a three. And then Butler takes it away from Westbrook, who looks shaken up on the play. Westbrook comes back and is called for goaltending. How about that? Westbrook is hobbling, and then he still has enough to rise and almost block the shot. He doesn't look right, though. He's going to play through it, though. Butler gets past him, goes at Adams, double pumps, and banks it home. Three seconds left. Here's Westbrook racing into the lane, gets it off, but it's blocked by Gibson. The Bulls shoot 60% from the floor in the quarter. They close the second quarter on a 17-8 scoring run. The way Westbrook does as Wade connects on just the second field goal, you're going to hear about it from Russell. Robin Lopez hits again, 10 points now for Lopez. Go small like he did in that last half, or does he go to Sabonis? Got to be very careful as an announcer to start a story. Yeah. Westbrook is anywhere near <laughs> the basketball as Lopez scores and a timeout here by Chicago. Dwayne Wade starting to do some work as a Wade gets the bounce. Oh, we've seen a little vintage Wade right now. Come on, that turnaround jump shot. That is pretty. That's eight now for Wade, six in the quarter. Lopez takes advantage of the smaller lineup and scores. Westbrook on the attack, my goodness. The rim will still feel that one in the morning. Wade drives, gets fouled, will go to the line. And Westbrook started at the top of the key. This is some of the things that Charles Barkley did. Yeah. Barkley said, I'm not going to... Because I know if I'm a contender, I'm looking at the Warriors going, man, I'm not sure we got enough. There's 17 minutes of game action left. How long will Billy Donovan keep him in as Zipser makes it a 19-point game? I know this. He should... Which is not a guarantee with Cantor out, although they do have 9 of 11 games at home here in February. Felicio from Butler with the jam. Easy layup for Jimmy Butler, 24 points. 
Christian will try to defend him, and Butler goes right through him and lays it in. Timeout. Thunder. I mean, it's an interesting debate. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a tough call because you're in a situation, you've got so many games left. As Butler hits again, he's got 28. You don't know if Cantor is going to make it back before April. And you're in a position, if you don't win games, you could slide out. You like this guy from San Diego State because he's a good defender, and you think, you know what, he's a terrific athlete. Maybe he'll be a scorer at some point. Well, think about what he did in the fourth quarter last night. Wade is fouled. He'll shoot two as Westbrook is about to check back in. Beautiful shot by Dwayne Wade. Well, if you're asking me, do I think he'll stay in Chicago? He's going to opt out, and that's just vintage Dwayne Wade. He's been dynamite. And is Billy calling another timeout here? Yep. We'll get back to that story, but my man. Based on our conversations with Dwayne over this year, which we've had him several times on camera, I think he wants to stay. But if this team struggles, if they miss the playoffs, what happens with Jimmy Butler? Uh, you know, there's been discussions in the media. Again, we don't know if any of them are true about the bull shoot. 61% from the floor. Perhaps their best offensive game of the season.